Hey Floss Tube, it's Lori of Mischievous Stitches. I want to welcome all of you to my channel. Thanks for visiting with me today. I've been absent for some time. Um, I've not visited with all of you since the first um, week or two of November. I haven't had any stitching, any crocheting, just anything um, needlework related to share. Um, work's been really crazy. This is our peak season of the year, and this year has kept us busier than I think that I have been in my 25 years with uh, the Postal Service. So I'm very thankful for that, but it left me very little time for my hobby. Um, I did manage to do some Christmas baking that I share with many of you on Instagram. I love to do that. But I'm very thankful to be able to go to take a big, deep breath and just to pause and rest for a bit. Um, thanks, uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas are such wonderful times spent with family and friends making memories. Um, this year, of course, is different for, for all of us. Uh, but at the same time, it leaves me refreshed and... Um, just reminds me of how blessed that I truly am in so many different areas of my life. And it's a good time to reflect, a good time of the year just to sit back and, and reflect on your life and, and the year and the things that we should be thankful for. So um, I don't have a lot to share with you, as I said. I've, been, I've done very little, if none, sti no stitching at all. Um, but I'm going to share where I was with you last time we all visited and what plans I have because um, peak season's over. So it's time to get back to my favorite thing to do, um, my favorite hobby, which is cross stitch. So um, bear with me. I started um, a stitch along in October, I believe, um, with Kim of Barbara's daughter. And I know D our dear friend Dee uh, joined in with us. And this is the 12 Days of Christmas by Paulette Stewart. And I only got up to the fourth day. I was hoping to have this done by Christmas, but I didn't plan on how busy things would be this year. Like I said, it was the busiest I've seen it in my 25 years. And um, so no stitching, but this will be a 2021 finish. But this is uh, 12 Days of Christmas by Paulette Stewart. And I'm stitching it in sulky threads and I have chosen four colors of sulky and two colors of DMC. And so I did finish up fourth day. So I know I saw a lot of people working on this one um, that had it as a whip or, or made a start on it this year along with us. Um, and I love to, to see the, the uh, pictures on Instagram. Even when I'm not stitching, I always browse through and, um, show your photos and your stitching some love. And I thank all of you that do that for me as well. But this is the 12 Days of Christmas by Paulette Stewart. It's a freebie design. So I'm gonna be picking that one up. And then I picked this one up in, the, in um, shortly before Thanksgiving too in October. And this is um, Uber Turkey. And now that I'm pulling it out, I just got things kind of thrown right here of how I left it last time. Um, I come up in this room and actually since the first or second week of November, I've not even been in my stitch room until this past week when I was cleaning up and putting things away for um, to clean up the house for family to come over. So um, that's what kind of renewed my, gave me the jolt I needed to get back up here. But anyway, I don't have the pattern cover. Maybe I'll show it the next time I visit with you, but this is Uber Turkey. And this is by Benton Creek Designs. And I'm stitching this with DMC Pearl Cotton. And I love the coverage on that. This is stitched on a um, 28 count, I believe is what I got. It was either 28 or 30. And I'm using one strand of the Pearl Cotton. And can you see that coverage? They're nice, plump threads. They were beautiful when I got them in. I, I ordered them directly from DMC. And the coverage was just perfect. I loved stitching with the one thread. I just love it. So this part of the turkey of the fan of his feathers is complete. And now I'm working on this side. And then I'll have his little spindly little 
chicken legs, chicken legs on a turkey bed, little skinny chicken legs. And then there's some wording at the bottom. I think it says count your, yes, it says count your blessings. So really, I'm, I would say at least halfway or close to halfway done on this one. And it'll be another 2021 finish. And shortly before my last one, because I've, I've still not ironed it, I finished up Cooper by Kathy Barrett. And this was a whip from a year or two ago. And I started this with Olivia B. And um, another stitcher. And we worked on this. And I was behind both of them because I did not finish this one till this year. And on the cover, the pattern cover, let me show you. Kathy Barrick finished it. She um, just folded in, and what do you call it? Um, anyway, she folded the piece in and then stitched the edges over, whip stitched. I can't remember. I'm so out of practice. It took me a while to even get the video going because I kept having little difficulties, but um, I know you all understand that film the videos. But she had folded it over and actually mounted it on a piece of fabric with the frame. So I'm gonna show you the pattern cover. Actually, let me take it out of the bag so there'll be no glare. And I wanted to do something similar. So you can see here, she's got a piece of ribbon across the top and then a nice colored fabric behind in the piece. If you look closely, you can see where it's, you know, it's not perfectly um, even because the fabric is folded over and then stitched. And then she's got another piece of ribbon here, and then that's how it's in the frame. So I did purchase a frame, which in hindsight was a little foolish. I should have, I should have found the perfect fabric for what I wanted to use behind the piece and then went for the frame, but I can always paint it. I want to show you the frame that I chose. And I really love the teal and the blues in this piece. That's what drew it to me. Um, because a lot of times, if I'm unsure of whether or not I'm buying a piece and I'm in a shop, I will pull the thread colors. Because a lot of times, as we all know, the colors do not show um, as perfectly in the pattern cover as they do in real life. So I'll often pull the colors and a lot of times if I don't see a model, it'll be the colors that um, decide for me that I need to buy a pattern. So that's what happened with this one. And so I bought this and I see I've already dinged it. Ugh, I can't cover that up. But see the, the frame it looks more like an antique teal that I thought brought the colors of his tail out. Can you see? And so I've had trouble uh, finding the fabric to mount him on. And um, I see now that Kathy has done hers on a brown. Maybe I'll do a brown, I'm not sure. But I've been to a couple of places and I just can't find the perfect fabric for him. But there is the frame. I'm not doing this very well, forgive me. That's more true to color as I lean it backwards some. And so that's what I've got going on at the moment. So I think tonight I'm just going to pop in for this quick video to kind of acclimate me back to making the videos um, because I do want to visit with you again next week. I do want to continue stitching on Uber Turkey and, and give him some love. And I would love to have a finish on him, but we've only got one week left in this year. Can you believe it? It's been a crazy year, but he's definitely just blown by. So I'm looking forward to working on Uber Turkey this evening. And then I'll have, because I've had, this is the uh, third day of my three-day weekend. And I'll have another three-day weekend next weekend, which is going to be wonderful. And I'll have time to stitch and visit with you all again. So... Thanks for visiting with me. Thanks so much to those that has reached out for me. I am happy and I am healthy. Um, and I will be back in the next few weeks with you, you, all of you. I hope that you, you all are happy and healthy too, that you've enjoyed your Christmas season and that you all have a very, very happy and prosperous coming new year. Hugs and stitches, everyone. Bye-bye.